forever and ever in your house forever and ever forever and ever Lord forever and ever I will dwell forever and ever forever and ever forever and ever in your house this place is yours our lives are yours Lord come and touch us Lord come and heal us this place is yours Lord our lives are yours Sanctifier, yes, we worship you. Yes. We worship you. Our present help yes, in times Lord. of need, yes, we Jesus. honor you. Patient of days, the yes. I am that I am. The Lord that was and is and needs to come. Yes. Yes. Prayer answering God. Yes. Lover of our soul. Lord, great and mighty yes. in battle. Yes. The one who watches over Israel, who never sleep nor slumber. Yes, we bless you. We yes, worship Lord. you. Yes, we Lord. honor you because you are God, yes, because Lord. you are great, Alleluia. because you are mighty. Rebo, you bo, bo, deserve bo, bo, all the glory. Yes. 
Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, King of Glory, we come with thanksgiving. We come with a password to enter your throne of grace. To say thank you for all that you have done, for your healing, for your protection, for your love over our life for your sanctification for washing us through and through with your words we bless you heavenly father yes, we thank you for the peace that you give to us yes, we thank you that you have yes, not abandoned us yes, even when we are not faithful you are yes, always faithful god yes, we say thank you be thou exalted yes, king of glory receive all our thanksgiving in the name of jesus tonight we are gathered here we invite your presence to be with us you have always been doing so. This night shall not be an exception. Yes. Manifest yourself yes, mightily. Lord. Manifest your glory. Yes. Manifest your power. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Everyone that connect, I pray in the name of Jesus that we experience your love, your touch in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that there will be a turnaround in the life of somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody's faith will be lifted Amen. up. We bless you, King of glory. Yes, in Lord. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen Hallelujah. and amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. God is good in this place. All the time. Hallelujah. And I believe that he's good in your home as well. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hey, yes. And we shall rejoice and we shall be glad in this day. Hallelujah. He has been good to us. Has he been good to you? He oh, has yes. been good. Just type it out and say, the Lord has been good to me. Hallelujah. He has been good to me. He has been good to my husband. He has been good to me. He has been good to our children. He has been good he to been abundant good to life ministries. Wife. Royal I Assembly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Has he been good to you? Come yes. ahead and type out and say, the Lord has been good, good. to me. Mm. Hallelujah. I am a living witness oh, yes. of the goodness oh. of God. God. Mm. And so I welcome everyone who is already online. Hallelujah. I thank God that you could tune in tonight. And I want to ask you a favor, if you don't mind, and it's, it's, your, it's your page, but I'm asking you that you would share this link and invite someone. If you know a friend, take a friend and tell them we have started and let your friends come online. Let your family come online. Let your neighbors come online. Make sure that your circle is well represented here tonight. Hallelujah. And so I welcome you. And I welcome you as well, Apostle. Thank you. Thank you my God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. This is the night that the Lord has made. And this is part three of the series of flourishing in all seasons. Mm. We started at the beginning of of September with this uh, series called Flourishing in All Seasons. And tonight is part three. If you have missed part one and part two, part two on the same platform, you can just scroll down and you will see uh, uh, part one and part two. It has been awesome. And tonight we are doing part three, but don't worry. We have you all covered, hallelujah. And we are standing on the scripture taken from the book of Psalm 92. Psalm 92, verses 12 and 13. Thank you for someone who is ushering online just to write it out. Psalm 92, verses 12 and 13. The Bible reads, the righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Planted in the house of the Lord, mm. they will flourish in the courts of our God. And, and last week, Apostle, we were talking about why the Lord is comparing us with the palm tree. Mm. And then you were giving us the attributes of a palm tree, mm. uh, 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 the characteristics of a palm tree. You know why? Why that tree is not just an, a, a, an ordinary, ordinary tree. tree. And why God did not uh, compare us to a mango tree or to a guava mm. tree, but he had to choose the palm tree. Mm. 
because of its uniqueness, uniqueness he, he yes. chose it. So for those of you who are joining us for the first time in this series, you can also uh, um, visit our YouTube channel, Abundant Life Ministries, and you will pick up all the messages there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, as a way of introduction, Apostle, I want you to just lay a foundation on 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 on. On, on last week's discussion, just, just in one go, you know, uh, when, when we were discussing the, the possibility of flourishing in all seasons, mm -hmm. you said it is possible for us to flourish in all seasons. Mm -hmm. Can you just share that uh, uh, briefly so that we take off from there, say? No, oh, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Welcome, woman Amen. of God. Amen. We oh, thank God for everybody online. Amen. Thank you for always tuning in. Thank you for your comment, prayers, and encouragement. Amen. May the Lord bless you real good. And I believe tonight God has somebody in mind. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Amen. So God wants us to flourish That's in right. all seasons. He, he, he desires that we flourish in all seasons. Yeah. And he has made arrangement for us to flourish in all seasons. Oh, yeah. And uh, you see, he is the one who, who plants us. So yeah. he makes everything possible. Yeah. If you read the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 17, mm. in verse 18, in verse 8 and 9, mm. it says, the, those who trust in the Lord. Oh, yeah. That is the righteous. That's right. Because it's only the righteous that flourish That's in the right. Lord. That's right. He said those who flourish in the Lord, those who have confidence in the Lord, yeah. he said they will be like a tree planted by the rivers. That's and right. And they will send out their shoots That's right. by the stream. That's right. And he said they will not fear when heat comes. That's right. He said, he said the leaves will be evergreen, Green. just yeah. like the palm tree. Yeah. He said they will not worry in the time yeah. of drought, which means God knows where he plants. That's his, right. That's his right. Children. That's and he right. makes sure that when he plants you, he, 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 everything that mm. you need is already provided. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Now, Apostle, on, on that, you know, for, for us to be, for, for us to flourish, mm. that means that we should not just be planted, as you are saying, mm. but we need to trust God. Exactly. Who is the planter. Yes. Hallelujah. Can, can you just explain that scripture a little bit for us tonight? Yes. When you are planted by God yeah. as a tree, you need to trust God. Oh, yeah. Because the, 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 the Bible says we are like a tree planted. Yeah. It means that somebody has planted you. Uh -huh. The tree does not plant That's itself. right. Somebody That's right. will plant the tree. That's somebody right. will make sure they nourish the tree by putting the, the waters and everything yeah. there. So when God plants us, mm. he chooses where he wants us to be planted. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we must trust him to remain where he has planted. That's right. So it is very important as a child of God that when God plants you in a place, yeah. you must remain there because you trust him. Yeah. Irrespective of what you see yeah. physically, mm. you must trust the one that plants you there. Yeah. You see, a tree does not argue with the one that plants oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> mm, a tree does not yeah. argue. If you plant a tree in the north, you go to the south, west, and east. When you come back to the north, you will find that tree there. Yeah. The tree doesn't uproot yeah. itself. That's so right. when God likens right. us to the tree, he expects us that when I plant you somewhere, yeah. you need to be there. You see, in the, in the Bible, there was a man called Abimelech, the husband of Ruth, uh, of Naomi. Naomi, that's right. Yeah, that's or the right. husband of Naomi. Yeah. He, he, he was living in the house of bread. That's right. But because of some scarcity, yeah. he decided to uproot himself. Jesus. He took himself, he yeah. took his children, he has two sons, yeah. he took his wife, and he went to the land of Moab, Moab. where God That's did right. not plant him. Jesus. And what happened? He lost his children yeah. and he lost his life. Mm. Only the wife remained. Mm. And after some time, the wife heard that there is bread, bread. in Bethel, the house of bread. They left because there was no bread. So the man uprooted his family mm. and he put them there. So this is a message to somebody that where God has planted you, yeah. you need to be sure yeah. if you want to live. 
mm. that God is the one that is replanting you. Yeah. You need to be sure that wherever you are, it is God that puts you there. Because if God puts you there, you need to trust him. Mm. If not, you will uproot yourself yeah. with, 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 before time and those catastrophes will come. Yeah. I pray it shall not be the, the, the portion of every, anyone Amen. in the name of Jesus. So Amen. when the Lord plants us, we need to make sure mm. that we trust in him. We trust in his word. We oh, trust yeah. in his ability. We oh, yeah. trust in his character. Oh, yeah. Because God is a God of integrity. Mm. He never fails. He never disappoints. Amen. That is why he said, that scripture we read in Jeremiah said, when God plants you, mm. you will always be nourished. Yeah. You will not fear mm. in time of drought because mm. he who plants knows how to water and mm. how to nourish. Amen. He who plants knows how to water and how to nourish. Tonight we are busy with part three of the series called Flourishing in All Seasons. And by now we, we all know that it is possible for us to flourish in all seasons. Mm -hmm. And that is what God wants us to experience, to flourish in all seasons. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And I ask again, invite someone, invite someone mm -hmm. so that we can flourish Together, Apostle, they Hallelujah. say that a one-eyed king in the land of the blind is as blind, or a poor man in a a rich man in, in, the, in, land a, of in the, the land of the poor. They are all in the same, WhatsApp, all in group. The same WhatsApp group. They are all poor. <laughs> yep. So mm -hmm. that is why we are saying invite someone so that your whole circle will flourish. Because if you are the only one with money. By the time they have finished asking, you are in the same boat with them. So let everyone come online so that we can flourish together. Apostle, is it possible for a child of God or anyone to start flourishing? You are planted, like you said, you have been nourished exactly. and, and, and you start experiencing, uh, 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 you, you, you are flourishing and then all of a sudden you just cease to flourish. To flourish. You just stop. Is, is it possible? Very, very possible. Oh, okay. It is possible, and you can see those examples mm. in our present life now. You can see those examples uh -huh. even in the Bible. Uh -huh. So a man can start to flourish, and after some time begins to wither. Jesus. Because when you don't flourish, mm -hmm. you wither. Uh -huh. You oh, wither, yeah. and you just okay. dry up. Mm -hmm. We look at the example of Saul, King mm -hmm. Saul. When God called him, he found favor in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. God chose him. Even before he knew, God has decided that oh, yeah. he will be king. Oh, yeah. This was a man who was so shy. When they mm. called him, he was hiding. He was flourishing. But when sin came, came in, in. Mm. he lost it all. Jesus. That he has to depend on music to chase away. He depend on worship of David to chase away evil spirits. Mm. So he began to weed that, that jealousy and everything came upon him. What happened? He died. Look at uh, Samson. He started flourishing. Yeah. Because God chose him as a judge. Yeah. God planted him in the land where he is. Yeah. But he decided to go and look for a wife outside. He pulled himself. He started chasing. For Israel to he for Israel to finish that. And he, he lost it. He began to wither. How do you know that he, he started to wither? Because he lost sense oh of God. hearing from God. Jesus. He stopped hearing from God. His mind was focused. I mean, look at his story. Yeah. He, Delilah came and said, Samuel, uh, Samuel, Samson, tell me your secret first time. Yeah. He said he, he, he gave her a wrong answer. Yeah. And another he, the, the people came to say to, to arrest him. This woman said, Samson, Samson, the Philistine are upon you. He woke up. He, yeah. he, he, he they could not get him. Yeah. But because he, uh, he started to wither. He was not connected because if you are flourishing, you will be connected to the one mm. who planted you. Mm. He began to wither and he lost his eyes. And you mm. can see how he ended the, the, his life. Mm. His assignment, his testimony was not so good at the end. Yes, he killed a lot of people, but that, that was not that was not the will of God exactly. for his life. You can see a lot of them lost. Noah, Noah, for example, a flourishing man. Yeah. He went into lockdown. <laughs> Noah went into lockdown in the boat. Yeah. When he came out, he came out a drunkard. Noah, the, the one that built the ark. He built the ark. 
God shot him. He went into lockdown in the yeah. boat. But when he came out, he became a drunkard. Jehovah. And you know the after effect of what happened to him. So you, you can start to flourish and you can begin to wither. Yeah. Now, now uh, uh, Apostle, what happens then to a child of God that does not flourish? Ah, it's a dangerous thing not to flourish. Jesus. It's a dangerous thing. One of the things you need to know is that God hates unfruitfulness. That's right. God hates unfruitfulness. That's right. That's, That's right. why he, Jesus saw That's the, right. the, the, the fig tree. Yeah. He was looking for a fruit. He found nothing and he, he cast it. Sure. And it withered. Sure. He does not want the resources he placed in us to sure. waste. So when you do not flourish, you wither. Mm. You become a shadow of yourself. Mm. Such a person keeps back, keeps going back to the place he has said good night mm. and starts saying good evening again. <laughs> when you stop flourishing, every door you have closed to nonsense, you mm. open it again. Mm. When you have said good night, you go back to them, you say good evening, go good morning again. You keep going, going back to back the to... Uh, uh, for me because you are no longer flourishing. And Jesus. no flourishing means you have been detached mm. from where you have been planted. No, no new trends. Yeah. No, 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 no uh, nourishing yeah. from the place where you are planted. Sure. We are talking about flourishing in all seasons. And there we heard that a child of God or anyone who does not flourish ends up withering mm. dry dry and when the tree is dry it will be cut off and be used cut off and used for for fire jesus use it for bread that shall not be your portion can Amen. you just declare over your life that that shall not be my portion i will flourish make it make it and make it your 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 declaration that i will flourish and uh, you will not wither in the name of jesus hallelujah now from the explanations uh, uh, uh apostle you said that we, we we when when we are planted mm. in a certain place yes obviously planted by by oh, god yes then we will flourish exactly so to flourish you need to be planted mm. so and when you are planted you will flourish but now you have seen this scenario mm -hmm. that uh, uh, there are people in the same church mm -hmm. sitting under the leadership of the same pastor they get the same teachings they get the same word mm. but some are not flourishing mm. and 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 you are asking but why is this they are they are planted in the same soil mm. but some are flourishing and and some are not flourishing mm. why is that apostle okay it is true what you have said is yeah. true it's true that uh, somebody can be flourishing yeah. in the same environment yes while another person in the same environment is not flourishing it's not flourishing it's possible and we've seen that example in the bible mm. look at Cain and Abel. oh yeah when it was time for sacrifice we should ask the question where did Abel got his teaching from jesus and where did Cain got his teaching from yeah so in the same environment yeah. under the same teaching yeah. of adam and eve if their yeah. parents their parents who received direct from god and they must have touched them yes. guided them but one choose to flourish and the other choose not to flourish and that's why god accepted the offering of one because he took the teaching and yeah. he did the rising so it's possible and we see it around yeah. and this happens because of the enemy of flourishing mm. you see the enemy of flourishing are the things that the enemy brings in our way our life to yeah. destroy our faith and our trust in yeah. god remember the scripture said the righteous need to trust in god that's right but when the enemy comes it tamper with our touch system yeah. and our belief system and our faith in god is shaking yeah we take our eyes away from the one we yeah. are supposed 
to trust. Yeah. And hence, if we don't trust him, we will not be in perfect peace. Mm. And when you are not in perfect peace, you are restless. Yeah. When you are restless, it's very easy for you to be uprooted mm. and not flourish. So you will be there when you are distracted, yeah. when you are frustrated, when your mind is on all things. Yeah. The new trend which is being given, yeah. then will not be coming to your yeah. mind. I mean, in the church, if you are planted in a church yeah. and the man or the woman of God are teaching yeah. diligently, yeah. giving instruction, yeah. if the enemy is able to get the mind of one person, Jesus. just Jesus. like he did with Judas, Judas, their mind will not be on what is being taught. You see what happened in that time is that they don't receive the word from the pulpit straight as the word straight from the throne of God. Yeah. They begin to question everything that comes in. Mm. Because at that point, when the enemy comes in, he, 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 has, he has succeeded in suffocating the spirit. Jesus. And he will magnify the flesh. Jesus. So the flesh will now... Uh, cut short yeah. the true word of God that is coming that will not go in the spirit. Yeah. That's where they will say, ah, they are preaching me. Uh -huh. Why is pastor doing this? Why is this? Why is that? Why yeah. is that? So any child of God in the house of God that is looking for fault in the spiritual parents mm. has opened the door, door to the enemy and is on the way of being uprooted and such a person will not flourish. Jesus, it, 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 Apostle, the, the explanations that you're giving, it's so powerful. You know mm. that Judas was part of the 12. Exactly. Sitting under the same teaching of Jesus. Of Jesus. There are children in, in, in raised by the same parents and, and one takes the teaching and I the other do one that. doesn't. Or in the same church, you see some members are flourishing and some are not flourishing. And you say it is because of the enemy that is anti-flourishing, that is selling some stuff to them. Mm. Now we are we are here on abandoned living sessions, and this is this is where we get information that will help us to live our lives in abundance. Mm. And, and that is why we come every Thursday to get a, a booster shot of the information that will make us. To, to, to live lives in abundance, because that is what Jesus said he came to give to us, life in abundance. Oh, wow. So coming on this platform means I'm coming for my boost for, for, for today to, 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 to be given so that I live mm. my life in abundance. Apostle, you said there are certain things that the enemy is doing to prevent uh, uh, children of God fl from flourishing. Mm. Can you give us some information on these things? What are these things that are preventing people from flourishing? There are many of them, and the enemy is, is, the, is the architect behind yeah. this. Uh, I will share a few with us. Um, the, the one of the things is replanting of self in a wrong environment. Jesus. Replanting, replanting of self. Of self. You see, God plants. Yeah. But what happened is people chose yeah. to replant themselves. Sure. Explain see, that, Apostle. <laughs> you see, when a tree is planted, <laughs> yeah. the environment matters. That's right. That's right. The environment matters. A tree that needs to flourish should, should be planted in the right environment. That's right. You see, there are some trees that will not flourish in Namibia. Oh yeah, because of the climate. Oh yeah, mm. there are some trees that survive here mm. that will not survive out there. Out there. True. So when some people are planted somewhere, yeah, due to one thing or the other, they yeah. decide to replant themselves. Yeah, and they go. Unfortunately, when they go and plant themselves in yeah. another place, yeah. remember it's not God who is planting now. Yeah. They are the one planting, planting themselves. So when they plant, they forget or they are unaware that yeah. environment matters. Yeah. So let me bring it down home. Um, yeah. a, a child of God who is placed in a ministry. Yeah because of one thing or the other, mm. maybe due to the noise outside, yeah. maybe due to, 
to offense yeah. in most cases, yeah. maybe due to, to lies of the enemy, yeah. they will decide to uproot themselves mm. and they will go and plant themselves somewhere. And they will they will find out that when they get it, they are not growing. Yeah, they are not flourishing because the grace upon their life and what God wants to use them for is different from where they find themselves. It's not that there is a problem with the environment. Yeah. The problem is that the they nature not... of what God put in them is meant for where God put them already. Already, or sometimes you find some people apart from replanting. Some are. From day one, when they come to the Lord, they find themselves in the wrong, wrong environment. environment. Jehovah help us. And they have been kept in that environment. Jesus. And they sit there and they could see this environment is not good for me. Yeah. But because of what will people say, Jesus. they know here I'm not growing. Yeah. My spirit is dying. Yeah. But they look, the, the, but the environment has crowd. Yeah. People are singing praise. beautiful. But in them, they know I'm dying. And when God is telling them, I want to replant you, Ooh. they don't listen to God because of what will people say. So these are one, this is, okay. Apostle, if, if, if we bring this in the family setup as mm. well, you can see uh, children also, you know, I, I don't want to stay with my parents. I want to stay with auntie because auntie's house is nicer than, then you replant yourself. You see, the Bible says in the heart of the children abounds foolishness. Foolishness, that's you right. See, children can't see beyond their nose. Yeah. The children have the nature of enjoyment. Yeah. They don't want discipline. Mm. But the Bible says only the son that God likes that discipline. Just like so when God, a parents love a child, yeah. they will bring discipline. So the children don't want to be there. Yeah. So they want to go to the house of the auntie yeah. uncle because there there is no rule. Yeah. There there is no order. But they forget that auntie and uncle have got their own children. They don't really love you as much as your parents does. Mm. Because when it's time for school fees, it's your parents that will pay. pay. When it's time for certain things, it's your parents that will stand. Jeez. So, parents, you, you know, I always love when you oh. are in the church setting that um, everybody, when the mother, mm. when the mother comes with the newborn baby, yeah. everybody loves the baby. Yeah. They like the two minutes fame. <laughs> They carry the baby. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so adorable. Yeah. Oh, so nice, so nice. Oh, so nice, so nice. They carry. For that 20 minutes or yeah. two minutes, they, they, and they say, oh, this auntie is so nice with baby. Yeah. This uncle is so nice. It's not true. Yeah. It's, can, they cannot withstand the pressure of the mother who wakes up at night nice. to feed that baby, to change the diapers. So children don't know. So when children get to a certain point, and we've seen it, if we've heard stories of yeah. children who say, my mother is too still, I like it, that they approach themselves. themselves. They go and live with auntie, they go and live with uncle, families. When they grow up, they begin to sing a different story. Yeah. And they begin to 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 blame their mother. Yeah. Why did you give me away? Yeah. Why didn't you stop me where I was going? Yeah. Because they now begin to compare the children who grew up at home yeah. to themselves. Their yeah. life does not palace Jeez. because they don't get the right training, the right nourishment which a mother should give to them because they uprooted themselves to go and live somewhere else. Jesus. Go ahead, Apostle. What, what, what still prevents us from, from flourishing? Jesus. Other things that Jesus. stop uh, children of God from flourishing, though they are planted in the house of God, yeah. is listening to the lies of the enemy. Mm. You see, they have opened their radio channel mm. to pick up the frequency of the lies of the enemy. Mm. You see, in this end time, the enemy is doing everything he can oh, yeah. because oh, yeah. he knows his oh, yeah. time is so short. Oh, yeah. And he has raised a lot of agents out yeah. there you will see many of them on social media. Yeah. Many of them have channels. Many of them have followers. Yeah. And what are they doing? They are teaching heresy. Mm. They are teaching people things that is contrary to, to the, the word. word of God. That's right. And 
what happened is that the enemy has a way of fertilizing such oh, ministries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He will fertilize it to oh, yeah. make it look so glorious to yeah. people. So if you are not rooted, mm. you are not planted and you don't have the spirit of God to mm. discern the spirit behind what they are saying, mm. you can easily fall for the lies and you will go mm. away. You remember what happened during lockdown? When lockdown came and we were trusting God that this is not the will of God, take away, blow away the wind of this, we are praying. Yeah. And many who were raised by the enemy came out and said, look at you, we told you you don't need to go to church. Mm. Yeah. We told you you need to stay at home. Yeah. We told you, and many people were leaning towards that. Yeah. They were believing yeah. that. Yeah. They were and teachings came that you are self-sustainable. Yeah, you, 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 do, you don't need fellowship. Yeah. And those are the lies. Mm. And we could see where's COVID today. Mm. We are back in the house of God doing what God yeah. has called us to do. Yeah. So when a child of God who is planted open his eyes, yeah. her ears, and eyes to what the enemy is doing, mm. they can easily be uprooted. Yeah. And the enemy will take them away. Mm. Many will get angry. Many will begin to question mm. the, 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 the truth in the word of God. Many people will begin to, they, they'll begin to chase what mm. does not matter. I, I see some people, woman of God, they are trying to debate what does not matter. Mm. Oh, how many books were in the word of, in the Bible? Yeah. Ah, no. Why the, 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 the fathers of faith, yeah. why did they remove some books? Yeah. Then you want to go and look for other food, books who are there. These are some of the lies and distractions. There. And I said, the 66 books that is there in the Bible you are having, you have not even finished reading it. You have not even understood it. Now you are joining a debate. Yeah. There are some books we are taking away. Yeah. He said, listen to me. I'm not interested in what was taken away or yeah. what was not taken away. Yeah. What I'm interested in is that the word of God that is in my hand is working for me. Mm. It's giving me results. So why should I look for what is not lost? Mm. And that is the lie of the enemy. It has made many people to be uprooted mm. and they have stopped flourishing and they have withered away. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> uh, there, there, there's some powerful powerful information coming out you know as apostle is talking about replanting yourself in a in a wrong environment that the lord did not plant you and mind you we we are not against aunties mm -hmm. no 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 they are they are good aunties they are good uncles who are taking care of children sometimes even better than than the, than, than the parents. parents so this is this is not a witch hunt against auntie but this is about some child who just deliberately decides because of discipline because of discipline that i don't want to stay at home and is going or some some person that decides ah no i don't want to stay in this church and i want to be independent i want to be independent yeah. christian I, I don't want any discipline church must just be praise and worship no no hard words nothing you know we are talking about that scenarios and apostle you said listening to the lies of the enemy can please add on please add on on that as well yeah uh, uh, on more 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 on on what prevents mm. us from oh, flourishing. flourishing yes sir. yeah another thing that makes children of god not to flourish is laziness yeah and why do I say that? This laziness. Laziness to be lazy. Oh, Jesus. Complacent to be complacent. Yeah. You know, the, the scripture in Jeremiah 17, 8 and 9, it talks about when the tree is planted, mm. its roots mm. will spread out. Mm. The one who planted the tree is not the one responsible for the roots mm. to spread out. It is the nourishment that the tree received that made the tree to stretch out the That's root right. to go deeper. Mm. So the root, the tree has the responsibility Ability. of making sure that its root wow. grows deeper. Wow. And why is it growing deeper? It's wow. growing deeper to where it can get more 
nutrients. Wow. So as children of God who is planted the house of God, mm -hmm. you will be getting the word of God. But it is your own responsibility really? for your root to grow deeper. What does that mean? You search more for God. Jesus. You spend more time with God. Yeah. You spend more time digging in the yeah. word of God. You dig deep. Yeah. You spend more time. If they say first three days, you go extra, extra mile. mile. When you go, right. the word, you see today, many people go to church. Mm -hmm. After it is, the word is, some don't even go to church with Bible. Mm -mm. <laughs> they will lie to themselves. I've got Bible on my cell phone. Cell phone. When you say, let's open to the book of Jeremiah, they will just do like this. When they are opening, WhatsApp message coming. coming yeah. While we are reading the message, they are reading WhatsApp Jesus. message. Distraction, Distraction is there. Some don't go with Bible. Some who goes with Bible, they yeah. are, they, the Bible only knows the church on Sunday, only <laughs> knows they only have relationship with the Bible only on Sunday. Sunday. On Sunday, I'm going, ah, where's my Bible? They carry the Bible, they dust it. Yeah. They go to church. Let us open, they open it. And when we close, we close. After the grace, see you next, next Sunday. Next Sunday. Sometimes sure. even the Bible is left in the car till the next Sunday. Yeah. They, they don't read. So the tree is supposed to send the fruit deeper. Mm -hmm. So it means you need to Search. search for the word of God. You need to attend conferences. Yeah. You need to attend seminars. That's right. You need to read books. That's right. You need to spend That's time, right. invest in your knowledge. The Bible says, study to yeah. show yourself approved. approved. When right. you don't do this, you don't flourish. Yeah. That's why when the enemy come and the weight come, they will blow yeah. away. Yeah. So many find it difficult to spend money to attend programs. They are mm. looking for cheap programs. Mm. When you say there's a seminar, pay 200. Ah, why must we pay? Mm. Freely have you been giving? <laughs> Freely <laughs> must we give? <laughs> eh? But when a, 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 a musician from the world is coming, yeah. they will go to cash loan yeah. to, 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 to borrow money to buy the tickets. Jesus. To be there. To they invest in things that does not build the spirit. So when you are not lazy, you are able to invest in mm. the things that will build Amen. the spirit. Amen. And go to the 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 the, the, the uh, Christian bookshop. Mm. Just stand there mm. in the mall mm. for one hour mm. and take statistic. If you can see yeah. how many people. Enter into Hungry Lion. Yeah. How many people enter into KFC? Yeah. How many people enter into Steers? Steers. Yeah. To buy burger and things and check how many people enter into the mobile literature shop. Yeah. You will see out of the hundred people that pass in one hour, only one percent goes into the yeah. mobile literature shop, yeah. and out of that one percent, only. Split that one percent into another hundred. Only twenty percent will come out with something. Jesus. Others just went in to check while they wait time they come out. Jesus. So as children of God who are planted, many don't invest mm. in their spiritual yeah. life in their growth. Uh, Apostle, uh, uh, interesting that you're talking about it. And 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 sometimes three things they don't edify you. Because you don't add value. You because don't. it's because it's free. You don't place value. You don't on place it. value. That is the problem. That is the problem. We've had that explain when you yes. say, okay, this community because it's it's a low income community. We are coming with this coming with this seminar. We will do it for you free. A lot of people will register. Yeah. But when it is the day, they will give flimsy, uh, flimsy excuses yeah. because they don't place value. Yeah. On it. One, you remember one couple attended one of the marriage seminars. Yeah. They said, Why are you charging so, so little? little? Yeah. Yeah. Because they've been to psychologists. Yeah. They've been to different yeah. places. Yeah. They know how much they pay. That's right. But those who are planted yeah. in the house don't place value yeah. on it. Call for a seminar. They look at you and say, What are you it's saying? It's too cheap. No, it's too cheap. Mm -hmm. You'll just call for. For a disco so I just say disco dance for Jesus. Yeah. We will flood there. No, no wonder Apostle, the scripture says where your where your treasure is, That's there where your, your heart, heart is. 
Yes. Mm. Wow. We we are we are almost almost rounding off uh, uh, with the with the topic of tonight flourishing in all seasons, and I sincerely hope that that you are uh, uh, that you are being blessed, Apostle. How how about how about wrong associations? Wrong association is also one of the reasons mm. that pull people out. Yeah. You see, what is the someone say? Someone say, blessed is the man who does not walk yeah. in the counsel yeah. of the wicked. Meaning, he does not follow the advice and example. Mm. He said, the such man will flourish. Which means, if you are in the counsel of the wicked, yeah. you will not flourish. Because their thoughts and ideas will choke you. Yeah. They will sell ideas to you. That's right. They will pull you. That's right. And they will pull you down. And you can't say, no, me, I'm strong. I know why I'm hanging with them. Mm. I know why I'm hanging with them. How you follow them to different places. Your spirit will be polluted. Mm. Take music, for example. Have you ever experienced that when you go in the shopping mall, mm. especially now that it is summer on the weekend, when you walk past the shopping mall, every shop is trying to get the attention of yeah. people. Yeah. Then they will put this bazooka speaker there. Yeah. They will increase the volume of the music. You will be hearing the bang, bang, jiggy, jiggy, <laughs> bang, bang, jiggy, jiggy. <laughs> you will just walk past innocently. Yeah. By the time you get home, before yeah. you know it, you will be doing bang, bang, jiggy, jiggy, bang, bang. You know, I say, oh, blood of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> imagine if you now go with the people you are now exactly. in the assembly. Yeah. In the assembly of the wicked, people who don't know God, people who mock God, yeah. who make fun of church, who make fun of the things of God. If you are among them every time, yeah. it will choke you. Yeah. You won't be able to pray. You won't be able to worship God, yeah. and you will. Your spirit will just die down yeah. like that. Hallelujah. We we have come to the end of to this evening's session. Apostle, what a powerful session! I, I've I've learned so much. I I don't know about you who are online tonight, but I I have learned so much tonight. In in Apostle, I just want to to give you an opportunity to just minister to someone tonight who might say, you know what, I want to flourish in all areas of my life. Perhaps you are you are online and, and you, you, you are in a wrong environment, you have replanted yourself and you are in a wrong environment or you have listened to the lies of the enemy or you are in a wrong association. Tonight, I just want to give the men of God a chance to just minister to you if you have a desire of flourishing. And we are talking about flourishing in all seasons and flourishing in all areas of your life. If you have a desire, wherever you are, just lift up your hands and place a demand and say, Lord, this is the area in which I want to flourish, hallelujah. Or I want to flourish in one A, B, C areas. And an apostle will just pray for, for all of us tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. I am that I am. I thank you for thank everyone you. that is connected. Yes. I thank you for the word that has come yes. out to their life. Yes. I give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Yes. Father, your word say I that those who trust in you yes. shall be like a tree. Yes. Say the righteous shall be like palm tree. Yes. Planted in the house of our God. Yes. I pray for everyone that is planted yeah. that they will be solidified. Amen. The hand of the enemy will not take them away. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I declare that in all seasons they shall flourish. Amen. They shall flourish and bear fruit. Amen. Bringing out joy. Bringing out that fruitfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If by one chance or the other. The enemy have taught the life of someone, have replanted them in the wrong place. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Let your right hand that does great and mighty things, yes. put them out. Amen. Let it put them out now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every chain and every shackles yes. that is used to bind you in a land that God has not planted you, yes. I command it to be broken. Amen. I command it to be broken Amen. in the name of Jesus. Yes. I pray for anyone who say my life, my spiritual life is withering. Yes. I'm not bearing fruit. Yes. Today, by the mercy of God, uh, God will change the story Amen. of your life. God will turn things around Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. And I pray, Heavenly Father, yes. 
Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes. that your hand will be upon each and every one. The enemy will no longer have access into their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Your glory will continue to radiate over yes. their lives yes. in the name of Jesus. I close their ears yes. to every lie of the enemy yes. in the name of Jesus. And I declare, yes. because they are planted in your house, yes. because they are planted in the house of the Lord, yes. I declare that their roots will strengthen out to the stream in the mighty name of Jesus. They shall not be afraid when heat comes. Yes. When the heat of life comes, they will not be afraid because God will continue to nourish them. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your lips will forever be green Amen. in every season. Yes. You shall not worry yes. in the days or the years of drought. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes. you will never fail to bear fruit Amen. in the name of Jesus. And I pray according to the word of God who has chosen you to bear fruit. Yes. Whatever you ask, God shall do unto you yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Yes. We bless you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. Yeah, thank you so much for coming online. May the Lord bless you. We really, really appreciate you. Before you go, just quick announcements quickly. Our 14th anniversary is coming up. Hallelujah. Abundant Hallelujah. Life Ministries is turning 14 this year, this month. Hallelujah. Next week. And we want to give God all the glory. And for that, we want to invite all of you to come and celebrate this great milestone with us. Our, our anniversary conference and the celebrations are taking place from, from Friday, the 23rd of September. That evening, the, the, the conference will start at 7 o'clock at Robert Mugabe Avenue, 110 Robert Mugabe Avenue. So we start, we kick off next week, Friday, with the conference at 7. And then on Saturday, we will have the conference at 6 o'clock, same venue. And then on Sunday, we will have the celebration service at 10 o'clock, same venue as well. All these three sessions are for free. So I invite you to the celebration conference. Hallelujah. Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday morning. You are all invited. And then for sa Saturday, the 24th of September, we have what is called the Leadership Summit. And this summit will take place at Avani Hotel. And because it is Avani Hotel, and because we want to serve you uh, um, complete uh, uh, buffet breakfast, the ticket will be $300 per person, hallelujah. We still have got some few tickets left. So if you have not bought your ticket, please uh, uh, quickly book and pay for your ticket. We are meeting on, on, on the 24th at Safari Hotel, nine o'clock, hallelujah. And all the bishops, pastors, evangelists, apostles, church workers, whatever you are doing in the house of the Lord, you are a leader, hallelujah. So you are invited to this leadership summit as we will dine and we are blessed with the presence. We will be blessed with the presence of Bishop Stephen and, and Dr. Reverend Dr. Matilda Safwali all the way from Zambia. They are coming to speak to us, hallelujah. This is an apostolic invasion. Can I repeat that again? This is an apostolic invasion. They are coming, hallelujah, on assignment to speak to us, hallelujah, the body of Christ in Namibia. So please buy your pastor a ticket buy yourself a ticket and let's come together and hear what the Lord is saying about us as leaders in this nation. Hallelujah. And then tomorrow evening, we are gathering on the floor. That is women on the threshing floor. We are coming together nine o'clock and we are only on Zoom. I'm telling you, it has been awesome. The past two weeks have been awesome. We have got different ministers who are coming in to speak on the theme of one another. Please, tomorrow evening, don't miss out. The link, the Zoom link is also on Facebook. Just press, I click on the link 
and join us tomorrow evening. We've got another uh, a powerful speakers, powerful ministers who will minister to us on the theme of one another. So you are all invited to come on Zoom. Unfortunately, we are not on Facebook because this is about one another. So you are all welcome to join us on Zoom. Having said that, I want to thank you once again for coming online. I want to thank you, uh, Princess Michelle. Thank you for coming online. Uh, Master Abiondu Adeleje, thank you for coming online, sir. God bless you. Uh, I want to thank God for Madam Nangula Ferdinando. Thank you for coming online. God bless you, Memero. God bless you. Thank you for coming online. Uh, uh, Madam Maureen Rodriguez, thank you for coming online. Princess Paul, God bless you. Thank you for coming online. Uh, Princess Elena, thank you for coming online. Princess Ezekiel, thank you for coming online. God bless you. And thank you for coming online tonight. See you again. If not tomorrow evening, we see you uh, uh, during the conference. And on Sunday, if you don't have a place of worship, this coming Sunday is called the pre-conference Sunday at Abandoned Life Ministries. And the theme is Jesus Saves. Let's come together as we raise the curtain for the 14th anniversary. God bless you. We love you. See you again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.